Hey guys, okay, so today is all about recovery. If you have sore muscles, if you just need something to, um, you know, you're, you're tired or you're sore, you just need something to do, we call it a recovery workout. And I'm starting here with modified burpees. All I'm doing is bringing my hands down to the floor. I go right, left, back, right, left, forward again, and stand up. This is good on the hips. Uh, you find a little bit of lower back work with that. I switch to left right now. And yeah, this is just getting, get yourself moving. I mean, if you're someone that has not been moving in a while, you just need to get yourself moving. This, this is some great stuff to do right here. You know, if you, if you do a lot of sitting, um, you know, for work or whatever, this is great just to get yourself moving. And again, like I'm saying, it's, it's great for recovery for if you're sore, um, it's perfect. Uh, okay. So we've got hip crossovers. Now I want you to keep your back flat on the floor. I do not want those shoulder blades coming off the floor. I want the knees and the feet together. Okay. And you are just rotating as far as you can to one side and then rotating as far as you can to the other side. And all of these exercises, we want to do them slowly. We want to focus on our range of motion. Okay. I'm going into scorpions now. I want to keep the front part of my shoulders as flat to the floor as I can. I, I really don't want those the front part of the shoulders coming up off the floor. And I want to touch that foot to the opposite hand. Now, when you first start these, you might not be able to get anywhere near that hand, but that's okay. If you are consistent with these exercises, you are just going to watch your range of motion improve as you go through the weeks. Okay, next we're going to sumo squat to stand. So when you come down into that sumo squat, I want your feet wide and your hands are on the instep um, of your foot there. And when you come down, you're really gonna feel your hips open up. And then as you come up, you're gonna lean back with your arms up. That's gonna open up the chest. This is a great exercise. And when you are first starting off on these, you might not be able to get that low, uh, getting your bottom that close to the ground, which is fine. Just go however far down that you can, which might not be hardly at all. And again, like I say, you're, you are going to increase your range of motion as you go if you are consistent with this stuff. These are walkouts now. This is, you're gonna feel this in the hamstring. This is one of my favorite movements actually. And you're just walking out into almost a push-up position then you're walking yourself back. Now, I want you to keep your legs straight if you can. If you can, it's okay to put some bend in them, but you never wanna lock out any of your joints, okay? That's, that's not a good habit. So anytime I say straight legs or straight arms, I mean, I want a soft joint. I don't want it like locked out. Okay, next we are going to lateral lunges. We're just lunging down to the side as low as you can, which again, might be really low or it might be hardly at all. We all have different ranges of motions. That's why we call it an optimal range of motion. Um, we don't call it a full range of motion. When I hear people say full range of motion, I I get a little crazy because there's really no such thing. But these are great for, you're going to feel these on the inner thigh as well, the adductors. And yeah, this is great. So this is really considered like a recovery workout. Do it if you're sore. Do it if you need to just get yourself moving. And thank you for watching. Make it a great day.